Mm -hmm. Hi, hi, welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, and welcome if you are new. Today's video, I'm going to be playing with my newer foundations. I have like a nice little crate here filled with a few and this one's been sticking out at me forever so I wanted to try this one out especially with like the seasons wanting to change this is the Laura Geller New York quench and tint hydrating foundation hmm quench your skin with our intensely hydrating foundation with them huh a wash of color covers weightless, refreshing splash water of the skin. Apply a small amount to the face, fingertips, starting from the center of the face, and blend out and repeat applications, and it covers application. Cool. Ta da! So, anyway, this is what I'm going to be trying out today. I hope it's good. I picked this one more specifically because it's like, at least here in Arizona, it wants to get cool some days. Like, early in the morning just before the sun rises like it drops down to like 70s 60s and of course it shoots back up into the hundreds during the day but that like tells me the seasons want to change so yay and my skin is gonna go through it I can already tell I have like dry patches on my eyelids and like a little bit right here so I'm like oh Get prepared I went ahead and primed my face today already with the rare beauty what were you the illuminating yeah illuminating primer based illuminaire the illuminating primer from rare beauty I figure something pretty light little bit of stick not a whole lot just a little bit is gonna go a long way and then this my Laura Geller New York quench and tint quench and tint it just sounds weird to me, I guess. The hydrating foundation. I got it in the shade light. So I'm assuming we're more like a um ooh. I'm assuming more more like a BB cream, CC cream kind of thing. Because it's it's a light, it's not a 32 in peach or something. So we're just a light. Cute packaging though. I like it. The simplicity is beautiful. I've really been liking these little squeezy tubes for like foundation. Um, primer makeup things that I'm using on the daily um, for me it's kind of like really nice easy morning thing no strong smell cool let me real quick come in with my Koki cosmetics concealer just a smidge I don't look too deathly this morning so a little should be as I grab a huge clunk a little should be fine, I feel. And whatever is extra, I like to just bring into like some problem areas like on my chin where I've had these wonderful breakouts because I can't just keep my hands off my chin. That's too easy. Okay, see, not a whole lot. Just a smidgen. So far, so good. And then I'm going to come in with this quench. Mm, tint <laughs> hydrating foundation I mean I, I kind of have like I have hopes for this because it reminds me of like a BBCC whatever cream that you want to put on your face let's see oh it's kind of thick but okay now ugh. let's Let's start, and by let's, I mean me and my skin. Oh, okay. Already it's a good color match, and I'm not, not going too hard into it or anything. Please enjoy the sounds of my Pandora bracelets jingling away. Charms, whatever. Huh. Yeah, that's super light coverage. You may not, because it says use your fingers, you may not need a sponge. You probably could just use your fingers. I'm currently at a point in my life where I don't really like that. So you can come in with the, um, I don't know what I did with mine. I need to add it to a list of things to get, but like the little silicone spongy doodles. Use those. Either the beauty blenders with the silicone on them or just the ones that are pure silicone. 
feel like either way would be okay. Oh, that's a lot. It's honest to glob, super duper light coverage. Yeah, this is like ridiculously light coverage. Um, and no matter what headband, hair clips, styling products I use, I still have hair in my face. I'm going to add some more. Small. And add some more to see if I can build this up a little bit. Oh, wow. Your Simba. Honestly. We're still kind of light. The coverage does build for sure, like it said. Hmm. But I feel, I still feel like it's super light. It's not like it's like, because it is in the shade light and not like a 32 square orange in peach, or whatever you want to call it. I dropped it um or whatever you want to call it it's it blends well and I feel like it's sheer because it's meant to have like a broad range of light coverage good job good job Laura Geller let me go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup we'll see how it blends out with everything I hope it plays well because I'm using my regulars so I hope it plays well this is the Laura Geller Quench -in Tint, Quench -in Tint Hydrating Foundation in Light. So far, so good. We're playing pretty well with like all my products. As I pull up my mirror to get a super close view, we're playing pretty well with all my products. I had an eyebrow mishap, so I had to like fix them. Not like you would know because you didn't have to watch any of that, and that's fine. But I fixed all that, and here we are. Um, I'm going to be off to run some errands. I will try to check in with you throughout this whole process and see how this lasts. I also want to see if this headband is going to last too because like I said, it's kind of cute, right? Just throwing it out there. Anyway. those of you wondering no the headband didn't stay on all day that was a disaster okay like because of all the stores I went to it just ugh. and I got like a headache on my own and I just made it worse so it came off but this makeup I did apply my Fenty Beauty Invisimat over top of this because we ended up going to Top Golf like outside and it's super humid and it's so nasty and yucky and my skin just like the oils really <laughs> so gross but this foundation we're holding on pretty good I think we're holding on pretty good here it's just my general not entirely expert but like expert for me opinion you know if that makes sense sort of yeah anyway I like it like my verdict it's it does what a baby CC what have you what do they call it tinted foundation tinted moisturizer that's what this is doing it's like it does good honestly I think so in my opinion I don't know if I would still call it a foundation I really want to move towards BB CC some kind of like a cream not so much a foundation but let me know in the comments down below if you've tried it and then if you'd still keep it as a foundation not like another category I have questions I'm probably gonna do a lot of research right now so I'm gonna go I will catch you next time if you like what you saw hit the like and subscribe button bye